Hello all, the practitioner here. Chemistry, uh, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. This video reminded me of a little incident that happened to me a couple of days ago. My girlfriend, uh, I, and my dad were um, actually, no, this scratch that, this was yesterday. We were out for a Father's Day. Um, we, were, uh, we were out for Father's Day just uh, this past Sunday. And we were walking into Sirius Coffee, and we saw a guy who was trying to answer a skill testing question for this raffle. The skill testing question goes as follows, um, if you can read that. That is 4 times 3 in brackets times 3 minus 16. Now, do you know what the answer to that is? For those of you who are probably subscribers to my video, pause the video now and run a quick little calculation. I'm going to run it, um, I'm going to run it in my head and verify it for you on calculator. Okay, after you've paused the video and done this, if you got 20, that would be correct. Allow me to demonstrate. 4 times 3 in the brackets means that that's the very first equation you do right off the bat. 4 times 3 equals 12. Now, in a situation like that, you always do multiplications and divisions before you do additions and subtractions. And it's always um, uh, basically, you, and you do them in, in the left to right order. So if you, have a, if you have a division before multiplication, um, you do it in the order from left to right along the, along the equation. So you have 4 times 3 in brackets times 3 equals 36. Sorry, let me make sure you got that. And it's times 3 equals 36 minus 16 equals 20 to demonstrate that point. Anyway, the funny bit was the fact that there was actually a guy who couldn't get this, and he was a guy in his 40s, and he said, uh, I don't know this, what's the answer to the skill testing question? And, uh, the, and the lady who was, uh, who was doing the contest said, it's 20. It's funny, they, Serious Coffee actually allows people to, uh, they give this skill testing question, which is the most basic of math you probably would get in grade 6. And they ask, uh, and, the, and they give the answer to people because of the fact that they ask. This concerns me. Why does this concern me? Because of the fact that the mentality of math sucks um, shows something of an immaturity in our society considering the fact that without mathematics you cannot have a functioning society. Economics goes out in the format of you need to have a concept of numbers and basic arithmetic at the very least for um, proper exchange rates, barter, or any other system of, uh, or any other system of um, of exchange, in order to keep track of where you're at. That's uh, most chimps will only exchange the odd bits of fruit, and they don't even have anything um, which resembles a society beyond a hunter-gatherer tribe level. In case you haven't noticed, chimps um, don't necessarily. Uh, they may use math, but again, the point is that they only come to a grade two level, and they don't even form much of a society. In order for in order for society you know, if for, in order for civilization to happen, mathematics is essential. For uh, especially in our day and age, uh, advanced mathematics is essential. And I'm about to propose something which I proposed in a video before, but um, would uh, figure would be appropriate at this point. And speaking of mathematics, the time is late and I have to get to bed because I've got a busy day tomorrow. So I'm going to make this quick and then get off YouTube. Allow me to uh, put, uh, and I know that people say like, okay, that you know, math is, uh, and I know that people are gonna, I know some people are gonna balk at this because of the fact that math sucks, and this is, but this is an emotional reaction, and I'd like you to consider the fact that again, without mathematics, society does not function. Given the fact that, um, given the fact that, um, most of what goes on in government is not just advanced level, um, is not just advanced level addition and subtraction, multiplication, and division, but in some cases actually involves, um hefty level rates of inflation and um, uh, and when you get into rates of inflation you start dealing with powers and other stuff like that. Therefore, in, in a lot of these cases you can even start dealing with stuff along the lines of what could be mapped as a parabola or an exponential growth. Therefore, I propose as follows. Measurement of adulthood be measured in terms of solving a quadratic equation. Don't worry, it would not be anything very complicated. It would be a very basic quadratic equation. Um, standard double roots, um, uh, sorry, not standard, sorry, not double roots. Um, 
two real roots, sorry, a double root is the same root twice. Um, let's make it a basic quadratic equation, two real roots. They should be able to use the quadratic formula to, ba to solve this basic equation. The note that I said that I'm using is suggesting a simple one. Let's not get into imaginary numbers here. Only a few of us can still remember how to do that with, with fluency after grade 12. And um, again, hence those of us are still getting plenty of practice of it as math minors. But anyway, and majors. Um, but, that's an, but that's a side note. So like I said, for the, major, for the majority of adulthood, a person must be able, um, you know, uh, when they hit the age of majority, age of 18, or graduate from high school, or earlier if they, can, so if they see fit, they have to go down to um, wherever it is that they would normally get their driver's license or anything else, um, and if they want to get their, pa their pa uh, pass for, ide for adult identification, they have to conduct a quadratic equation in addition to whatever they would normally do to get their ID. And they're given their ID with a little thing saying so-and-so completed the quadratic equation. They would then show their ID to demonstrate when they were born and symbol, you know, symbolize like, okay, that they have been able to do this before. But they would still, every time that they conducted this, again, ID purposes would be used to ID anybody, say, who was drunk driving or what have you. But a person would have to be able, after every drink, and, the, and there's a reason I suggest this, they would have to be able to conduct the quadratic equation every time that they were drinking. And the reason I say this, um, and they would have to be able to conduct a new one every time, the reason I suggest that they still be able to do this uh, after every drink is because at a certain level, if they start screwing up, um, if they start making too many um, arithmetic errors, after a certain point, after you've been drunk, chances are, if their mathematical capabilities are impaired, uh, their other judgment faculties will also be impaired. Um, that being said, they should probably also keep breathalyzers on hand just to make sure that the, um, the person's not over the legal limit. Their judgment may not be impaired, but their coordination might be. As <laughs> we fall, but anyway, I, I digress. Point being is that if a person cannot understand mathematics, at a grade 12 level, which would be the rough equivalent of where we keep the age of majority now, they would not be able to understand enough mathematics to take part aptly in society. And by taking part aptly in society, if you are a, if you are a responsible adult, you have to be able to understand how your society works enough, you know, note that I said enough, that you can competently vote um, for those, um, you know, for those who are intelligent and can do a competent job in government. Um, you need to be able to buy competently in business and understand, say, percentages, rates of inflation, powers, that sort of thing. So this way you are not being able, you are not getting duped or that your financial decisions are not inadvertently affecting others. If you're starting a family, you have to be aware of half these things like um, compounding of interest and the like um, to understand where your money comes in because of the fact that you're raising a family. Your financial and mathematical decisions uh, affect three other people, at least that you know of, your wife and your two kids. Uh, assuming we're working with the standard typical family here, it, or your, your spouse and your kids. It's affecting more lives than besides you. If you are an adult, mathematical ignorance is dangerous to other people. Mathematical ignorance is dangerous to other people if you are taking part in society. Um, as is danger, uh, as is uh, inability to conduct logic is also somewhat dangerous to other people. For the most part, it can be benign, but and the danger can be a little bit more subtle. But it is dangerous. But there is the danger nonetheless. So, a quadratic equation would give an indication that you are able to understand the mathematics, which means that if you end up still making uh, an, an irresponsible error for uh, which could end up endangering the lives of others, you can be held responsible for your actions at that point. If you are still unable to pass a quadratic equation, um, uh, you know, even into your fifties. You're still a kid. You know, I hate to say it, but you know, you may have the social mores to understand your social dynamics, but in so far as taking part in civilization, you know, uh, it, you know, uh, and by civilization, I mean a Western civilization or any civilization for that matter, um, to take part in an economic marketplace, to take part in a civilization, so to speak, you need a reasonable basic understanding. Of, you need a reasonable understanding of mathematics. And if you are unable to have that, then, um, then at least by my book, you are not capable of, um, you know, you are not capable of being able to function um, well enough to understand society and your decisions could endanger other people. So you should be treated as a minor, um, at least when it comes to the affairs of society, i.e. you should be withheld from the vote at that point and you might want to be withheld from drinking as well. Um, reason being um, understanding of math allows for understanding of kinetic energy which understands that you are behind driving, driving a missile. 
But that's a story for another video. Toodles!